Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am so, 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 so sorry that I completely failed Vlogtober. Yeah, I failed. I haven't posted since Thursday, I think, or was it Friday? No, it was Thursday, so I'm so sorry, you guys. I have had so much going on with my wedding. Um, everything is fine with me and Eddie. So that's what is most important. And at the end of the day, the only thing that matters. But I have been, since Friday, I had every intention of posting a video Friday. But I got some unexpected news. Um, it has nothing to do with Eddie. So nothing at all. The furthest thing to do with Eddie. So, But I did get some... Uh, overall very very disappointing very hurtful news I'm not gonna go into it um, it's resolved I think uh, I'm not gonna go into it because it's just like wedding stress and drama that doesn't need to be shared on this channel um, but anyway I was kind of just upset and I really wasn't in the mood to be on camera to go on camera I just really didn't do much this weekend did i yeah actually i did do a lot this weekend but i was just with like family and very close friends this weekend on saturday or on friday i went to my parents house um for dinner which we weren't supposed to go to my parents house for dinner we were supposed to go to our anniversary dinner but honestly you guys i was just like let me put my camera right here and talk to you guys here um, I was just so like upset at, with what had kind of gone on throughout Friday that I just wasn't in the mood to go to dinner or anything like that. Um, I just wanted to go to my parents' house with Eddie. So we just ate dinner there. My mom wasn't feeling too good either. So went over there. Then Saturday went with my really good friend and her daughter. It's actually Eddie's, uh, one of Eddie's best friend's wives. She's a very good friend of mine. So went over there um, and we went with, I went with her daughter and her to the pumpkin patch. So that was a lot of fun. And then Sunday was my cousin's baby shower. And this is like my only cousin from my dad's side because he only has one sibling. So it's my first cousin. So we share uh, grandparents together. And um, so I'm really his only first cousin because I have a lot of cousins from my mom's side, like a lot of first cousins, but I'm his only first cousin. So Eddie was kind enough to help put together because it was his wife's um, baby shower that day. So Eddie was just, Eddie is like the best. You guys already know that, but Eddie and I, because me and my aunt, we just helped. They needed so much help um, with setting up the baby's room and she's already like seven months pregnant or eight months pregnant, her baby shower was yesterday and they really wanted to set up the room. So Eddie and my cousin, they, both of them, they built the crib, they built the dresser, they built the changing table. They just did everything for the room. So it was awesome that Eddie could help. My family adores Eddie. So that's just amazing to see. Um, it was fun, we had a lot of fun, we ate pizza, it was just fun. But that does not um, take away from the disappointing news I received. It's resolved though, I think. I don't know but um i just don't want to talk about it because i don't feel comfortable talking about it especially since i don't know like who watches my videos and who doesn't watch my videos um i just don't feel like talking about it and again it has nothing to do with eddie so that's the only important part but i just didn't i just like wasn't i just didn't do anything work related this weekend so i didn't really want to vlog if it wasn't really work related um so yeah that's where i have been uh and today if you guys can tell i'm like still kind of like upset i guess i don't know i'm just like in a weird mood today i'm getting a i'm finishing work i'm finishing work one hour early well technically i don't really have a schedule but i work pretty much through the night anyway um but this is the benefits of having your own business I am taking the day from 4 o'clock. At 4 o'clock, I have a massage and a facial. 
Um, so I'll be doing that till like 6.30. It's next door to my house. Um, I'm going to be doing that. So just kind of because I'm just like, I don't know. I think a massage will make me feel better. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, what else? What else? What else? This weekend's my bachelorette weekend. My bachelorette party. We're going to Orlando for Epcot Food and Wine. So that's going to be really fun. I'm sorry, guys. I, I can tell like I'm just in a downer mood. But I'm going to show you guys what's sold anyway. eBay is so weird. I was really consistent, I feel like, in posting last week. And then I didn't really post anything new for sale Friday or Saturday. And my sales were okay throughout the week, but then the weekend came and I had only four sales and one Poshmark sale. And I had a few um, Instagram sales, so that's good. But just talking about eBay, eBay, I have no idea like what happened, but my sales tanked this weekend. I mean, like totally tanked i don't know i don't know because i feel like i did i actually listed a lot of new things this week now that i think of it i think i listed like close to 100 and my sales were not like reflective of that compared to when i usually do that and that's just like really disappointing and i felt like I wanted to share how disappointing it is. Um, so I did have some sales. I only had four sales, like I said, on eBay, but those four sales totaled $161.68. So that's pretty good, right? Um, I think that's pretty good. I don't think that's bad at all. I had some, all of the sales pretty much were, well, three of the sales were in the 30, well, two of the sales were in the 30s. One of them was in the 60s and one of them was in the 20s. So again my sale price is higher so like when i have times like this like let's say somebody that just sold ten dollar items um had this type of day it would be like a forty dollar sales total but somebody that sold ten items this is how i'm thinking about it somebody that sold ten items at uh, to make 161 dollars you almost have to sell like 20 things and package 20 things and do the work for 20 things and then the profit would probably be around the same as what I sold for just four things. So that's why I like having a higher average sale price. Um, I'm just gonna go through what sold. I'm pretty sure everything is actually new things that I listed. So it was new things that I listed. Now I will say, kind of to go back on not having sales, I had a lot of offers. I mean, every day I must have had like seven or eight offers a day and I really am being pickier with the offers I accept because a lot of it was on new things that I had just listed and a lot of the offers were so lowball like I mean listing an item for $60 and somebody made an offer for $10 kind of offers like I'm not gonna accept that I don't know why anybody would think I would accept that or anybody would accept that like that's crazy i mean a sick a fair offer like in my opinion on a total sale of like something that has a price of 60 dollars would be like 45 dollars. i would have accepted if they would have offered 45 dollars. i would have accepted 45 i would have accepted 50 i mean but 10 dollars. like come on i had a lot of like things that were 25 dollars. people were offering like five dollars and i was just no like i don't even counter those offers honestly um, so I just declined a lot of offers. I felt like I was just declining left and right, but I wasn't gonna just Get rid of something to get rid of something like no, I wasn't gonna do that. So That's not the way I roll That is not the way I roll people and you guys should know that if you watch my videos um, So don't be afraid to decline those offers like don't just accept it to get a Sale, you know because you don't want to like not make as much money as you would make I mean I love accepting offers. That's why I do best offer on everything, but reasonable. Like for example, I accepted this best offer. This item was listed for $34.99. It was, a, I'm gonna show you guys. It was a standard James purse and I accepted a $30 offer. That's fair, I love accepting offers. This piece was listed for $24.99. I accepted an $18 offer. Another piece was listed for $39.99. I accepted a $35 offer. So I love accepting offers. 
really very rare that something sells at full asking price. I mean, one of the, the $64.99 item did sell at full asking price, but very rare do I ever sell something like full asking price. I mean, because if you have the best offer option on it, it obviously means that you're willing to negotiate. So people are more prone to making those offers. And I always accept reasonable offers, but something that is like 50% off or 40% off or even like 70% off or some people even do like 80% off. Like, no, I'm not going to accept that. Like, why would, why are people so crazy? Why would people even waste their time and my time and make an offer like that? Like that makes no sense to me at all. I mean, maybe if somebody's really desperate, they'll accept it, but uh, I'm not really desperate to sell the stuff because it's just sitting in my storage. And I understand that people have different circumstances, but you guys don't like undercut yourself. Just don't do it. All right. So let me see if everything is actually in here. I could pull it from in my office. I don't know though if everything's in here. I don't know. And I also did go to the thrift store today. Uh, and of course, oh no, this isn't in here. That sucks. Um, of course, I forgot my camera and the thrift store is very interesting today. This thrift store is funny. Like they do funny things. They were selling a Hermes um, crossbody bag and I just had to look at it. Obviously I knew it was fake, but I was like, oh, how much is that bag? Like just out of curiosity, they were charging three, $300, you guys. $300 for a fake Hermes bag. I was like, what, $300? So I went to go look at it. Of course, I wanted to look at it when they said 300. I was like, this must be a really good imitation or maybe it's even real. I was like, hell, maybe it's even real because it was from far and I have the worst vision, you guys. Literally, my vision is so bad. I do wear glasses. I just don't wear the glasses on camera. Um, really, the only time I wear glasses is when I drive at night. I need glasses or I, I can't actually see anything if I drive at night without glasses. And um, I should be wearing them all the time but I don't because they annoy me or they give me headaches or I actually heard that they can make your vision worse if you wear them all the time. And then when I watch TV, I need to wear them because I won't be able to see the TV. So certain times I do wear my glasses. I've just never worn them on camera, but I couldn't really like see the bag. So and it was behind the counter. So I was like, can I go look at the bag? And they were like, yeah, sure. So I go back there and I look at the bag. Worse imitation, but anyway. I wish I could have taken my camera because I totally would have. Then I went to the post office to pick up some of the packages. Like if you guys remember my live, I was talking about the packages that got sent to our old address and they were under Eddie's name and it was like a whole mess. When I went to the post office, um, the first time to do that, the lady was Hispanic. She was, I, I don't know if she was Cuban, but she was Hispanic because I spoke with her only in Spanish. And she loved me. She was super nice to me. So today when I explained to them what I was there for, they called the supervisor. And I was hoping it was going to be the same supervisor as it was Thursday because she loved me. We got along super well. She was super funny. We were making jokes. Like, you know, like I was treating her like my abuela. Like she was like my abuela. Like it felt like I was talking to my abuela. And um, then another lady comes out and she didn't like me. I don't know. Uh, I'm not gonna get into like all that stuff, but she didn't like me and she Was like the package isn't here and I'm not giving it to you and I was like well You are gonna give it to me because then one of the ladies that was there last week was like no I was here last week and th like this is her situation So she was like backing me up which was super nice of her and then she was like well I'll go check but it's not there and then so she went to check and it wasn't there and I said ma'am Please, it's a big box. It's not gonna be in a small box. I was like, please go and check, please. Like, I know it's here. The tracking says it's here. I got the little confirmation that it's here. Like, please go and check. Like, it's a big box. And she's like, yeah, I'm not checking back and forth for like 20 minutes. Finally, she's like, I'll go check, but I guarantee you I'm wasting my time and it's not here. Super rude. She goes back there. She must have been so mad when she saw that package. She comes back with the package and she's like, sorry, um, it was just hidden in the back. And I was like, oh, it's fine. I was like, it's perfectly fine. Don't even worry about it. I just want my package, please. 
And then that was that. So I wish I could have like low key been recording. And then when I was walking to the car, this guy lowers his window. I was like, why are you lowering your window, sir? Please don't lower your window. Um, but he lowers his window and he started like shouting something at me. And I was like, why are you shouting? And then I realized he was like, oh, you got your package. And I was like, yeah, they have my package. See, I'm not crazy because everyone probably thought I was crazy. Anyway, let's jump into what's old, shall we? All right, you guys, I got soaked walking to the house or walking from my car to the house because I had to get what I needed to get. So anyway, let me just jump in. So this sweater is a Zara sweater. If you guys recall, uh, this is from that time that I got like the Salvation Army uh, liquidation. These jackets were like $5. Yeah, so Zara, Zara. Anyway, this sold for $25 on Poshmark, which in my opinion is a really good sale because again, it's already like the money's already been made back. But really if, if it is $5 and it's sold for 25 on Poshmark and after fees, so I really made like 15 bucks if you want to think of it like that. But really it's pure profit because it was already taken care of. All right, the next item I'm gonna show you guys is this Daniel Rain. A little bit of Daniel in here. This Daniel Rain. All right, so this Daniel Rain sold for, and it's a size XL, and it looks like a Thanksgiving shirt. It literally reminds me of a Thanksgiving shirt. So this Daniel Rain shirt, super lightweight, eight ounce category, and it sold for $21. And again, eight ounces to ship, which is $2.63. In my opinion, that's a good sale because it was only, I actually got this for half off because lately, um, Daniel Rain is something that it's weird. It sells well for me, but sometimes it sits for a while. So I do have like a little bit of an inventory of Daniel Rain. So now what I've been doing with Daniel Rain is I only get Daniel Rain if I can get it for under for under two dollars or two dollars or under or two fifty and under I will pick it up. And that one was two dollars. So really good. This next item sold, this was a TJ Maxx item and I paid ten dollars for it. And it sold for thirty two dollars and forty five cents. So and it's just a standard James the standard James purse. Um little knit shirt i love these i have a ton of these these are fantastic and they sell so well so it was new with tags even though even though um it was from tj maxx i consider it new with tags because it has the standard little tag and these i cannot believe like these little shirts are 55 dollars if you were to get them retail so this person got quite a deal because they only paid $32, which is still, in my opinion, expensive for a knit shirt, but um, people pay that for this brand because, again, it's a $55 shirt. If you were to buy it retail and you weren't to find it like on sale, you would be paying $55. So that's a pretty good deal. And of course, it is in the eight ounce category to ship, which makes it extra good because that means that it's only $2.63 to ship. And I'm printing the label out now with my Dymo. And there we go. This is a new brand for me. I found this brand for Target. Like I found this, um, I found a little jewelry organizer, which is really cute. I haven't sold it because I was like, am I gonna keep it or am I not gonna keep it? And I just never really have used it. So I don't know, maybe I will keep it. Or maybe I'll list it, the other thing I'm talking about. But this right here is the brand Orla, Orla Keeley. I don't know. Orla Keeley. 
I only knew what this brand was because I saw the four target collection and so this is like the higher end because it's not the four target collection but it is Orla Keeley and it just has like these little mushrooms it appears like and then it has <laughs> that's so funny to me like, what is this <laughs> they're like little like those little gumballs or like little ponytail balls I don't know but it's a cute little dress. It's 100% silk. So this actually sold for, I only had it listed for like a day or two and it sold on best offer. And the best offer was $35 and then with shipping, it came out to $38. So I of course accepted the best offer because that's a great offer for something I paid $5 for. And that's pretty much it. And this is shipping. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I'm gonna weigh it because it is, seems a little heavy but it's still maybe no it's still in the eight ounce category so that's fantastic because oh eight ounce shipping is two dollars and 77 cents four ounce shipping is two dollars and 63 cents just a few cents different but still just to clarify Alrighty, and the last item that sold on ebay this was a nice little sale because it sold for full asking price, no haggle, within like less than a week it sold. And it is one of my favorite brands to sell. One of my favorite brands to sell. Uh, it doesn't sell very fast, but when it does sell, it's always a nice, nice, nice sale. Or you can always send it to the real real. So this, again, one of my favorite brands to sell is Helmet Lang love selling helmet lang even the small sizes sell so well so helmet lang is just a is just a great brand to sell and this sold for 64.99 plus shipping so the total sale price for this item was 68 dollars and 95 cents uh i only paid five dollars for the dress so it was quite a sale in my opinion uh and the shipping on this i'm not sure how much oh it weighs 9.5 ounces so i'm gonna round it up to 10 and that's three dollars and 46 cents for shipping and it was the cost of five dollars so that's a really nice little sale for me all right, guys, that's pretty much everything that sold over the weekend with, of course, my Instagram sale items also selling. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching my... Oh, no. No, this isn't all I have for you guys today. Is it all I have for you guys today? have a haul but i'm gonna actually film a haul video separately so this is all i have for you guys today i just wanted to get a what sold video up for you and kind of just show you like even though it was a a week sales weekend with not a quantity it was definitely a quality weekend sales because i feel like you could sell 20 things and amount to that amount what i sold so it was a good weekend in my opinion obviously not a million dollars but what can you do so i will see you guys in my next video again thank you guys for bearing with me even though i kind of like failed vlogtober already um it's just unfortunate what has happened and i'm just trying to just look forward and um kind of just not really in the happiest of moods but the show must go on i must still work and make money and go on my bachelorette weekend and have an amazing wedding and that's it guys i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for stopping by until next time i will see you later